Hey guys, it's Katie Cakes here. Uh, today I have a lot of Amazon presents. So I'm going to open those. <laughs> um, I have seven, six were delivered today. One I opened yesterday, but I wanted to show you guys them anyway. Uh, so I got Gypsy King by Debney Perry and The Kissing Game by Murray Hart. Um, these have been on my list for quite a while. I fell in love with Debney Perry was when uh, I was getting the Romance Reveal book box and I started the series. Uh, I haven't been able to finish it, but yeah. You guys remember haul me hauling this book? It was amazing. I loved it and I really want to finish the rest of them. I think I read one more, uh, but this is the only one that I own right now which kind of sucks but that is okay but yeah so i have this these two uh these are from kayla ann um who i've been talking to a lot recently and she actually sends me a lot of things <laughs> um, so that's pretty awesome but yeah i think this is a 2020 release if i'm not mistaken um, Yep, 2020, uh, it doesn't say when, but it is 2020, uh, so I will read the synopsis for this book. Renna Jackson is ready. She's worked her tail off to open her own hair salon, and she's almost ready to quit her job at the dive bar. Rena's also a diehard romantic, and she's had her eye on bar regular ex- Axel Heller for a while. He's got that tall broding, broding and handsome thing going on big time. Problem is, he's got that buttoned up Germanic ice man thing going on as well. With Valentine's Day just around the corner, Rena's about ready to give up on Axel and find her own Mr. Right. At six foot tall, Axel knows he intimidates most people. He's been crushing on the gorgeous waitress for months, but the muscled maniac is no romantic, and his heart is bur buried so deep he has no idea how to show Reyna what he feels. He knows his way out of his d he knows he's way out of his depth, and she's slipping away, so he makes one crazy, desperate play. I bet, I bet you a kiss you can't resist me. Game on. So this book actually reminds me of um, this one, Unconscious Hearts by Harper Swan. She is also an amazing author that I also received in Romance Reader Book Box, so it's also signed. You guys probably remember this book as well because I was super excited about the paw print. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's this book. I'm super excited for it. This book has 311 pages so not a bad size and then gypsy king all that i really know about it is that it's a motorcycle romance and that it's by debney perry this book is pretty thick though it is 389 pages pretty good I think maybe not oh there's a bonus pull off in here oh okay okay so the back part here is uh, the second book in this series I guess it gives you like the first chapter of it but there's a bonus epilogue in here so this book is actually set, uh, 376 pages long, so that's pretty good, and this is published last year, so again, pretty new. There seems to only be two books in the series right now. I think there might be three, actually. Um, the former Tin Gypsy Mot Motorcycle Club has everyone in Clifton Forge, Montana, convinced they've locked their clubhouse doors and ripped off their patches. Everyone but Bryce Ryan. 
There's more happening at the club's garage than muscle car restorations and Harley rebuilds. Her instincts are screaming there's a story, one she's going to tell. As the new owner of the small town's newspaper, Bryce is hungry for more than birth announcements and obituaries. When a woman is brutally killed and all signs point to the tin gypsies, Bryce is determined to expose the club and their leader. Kingston Dash Slater had as murders. Bryce bests Dash match after match. Disappointed, her rugged and handsome opponent turns out to be an underwhelming adversary. Adversary. Secrets are exposed. Truth's defeat lies. Bryce is poised to win this battle in a landslide. Then Dash breaks all the rules and tips the scale. One kiss, and she's fighting to save more than just her story. She's fighting to save her heart from the Gypsy King. That sounds really, really good. <laughs> I'm so excited to read these two books, you guys. Okay, so I do have one, two, three, four, five packages here. Six. Uh, I do have this box. I'm going to open this box first because all the other ones I think are books. And I'm really curious to see what is in this box. <laughs> last one I needed in this series you guys or this set I guess I have uh I call her whore Vivian <laughs> I have that one and Edward uh but I needed this one and when I went to buy them they didn't have this one in the store so I am so excited to have this one uh, I haven't decided where I'm gonna put them on the shelf they're up there on my like, couple's shelf is what I call it um but it'll kind of look weird if I have three of them up there. So maybe I'll put her up there with Edward because they're both wearing the fancy suits. And then I'll have Whore Vivian somewhere else. Um, but yeah, this is so cool. I am so happy to have this. And it, oh, it's from Kayla Ann. <laughs> so all of these, are from her. <laughs> she spoils me. Well, thank you so much, Kayla. I will put her up when this video is done. Okay, so this one is kind of heavy. Cocky Playboy by Sloane Howell and Alex Wolf. This is what the cover looks like. Cocky Playboy. He's a bastard. He's a bastard in Burberry. Decker Collins knows how to do one thing. Win. When his billion dollar law practice moves to merge with a firm out of Dallas, she shows up to oversee the transition. Tate Reynolds, the vixen in Ver. Sass. She's whip smart, sassy, and gorgeous. Oh, and she doesn't take any of Decker's shit. There's only one problem. This war isn't just about business. Because when they're not butting heads, they're banging headboards. That sounds really good. I wonder if this is a series. I think so, because it says cocky suits novel. So that makes me think that there is more. Um, let's see. Mm. Mm. Okay, so there's a preview in this book for Possessive Playboy. Um, so this book has 276 pages, so not too bad. 
This book is from last year. And yeah, so this is from my Alberta Book Ninja page. So this is from Heather Allen. So thank you very much, Heather. I'm very excited to have this book. I cannot wait to start reading it. It sounds great. It sounds like so much like what I would normally like pick up. And then this one is like bulky. <laughs> Like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like weird. Like, the other packages are all in like this, but there's like, this one and the one that I just opened that are in, I guess, non prime. Oh, okay. So, this is probably also from Kayla. <laughs> nope, it's from Randy Grice. I think that's what you say her name. Grice. Uh, so this is the last book I needed for the Bear Briar U series, so I am so happy to finally have the last book in the series, and now I can finally start reading the series. Now I just need the L. Kennedy uh, off-campus series, and I do have this book plate from L. Kennedy that I've had for like a year, but I never owned any of her books, and now I own five, so now I can put this in one of the books. I want to read uh, Briar U and then I also want to read uh, the Off Campus series and then decide which one, I which one I like more and then put this in the first book I think is what I'm going to do. But like I absolutely love that uh, these books are all like super thick. I thought I had the fourth one. I guess I don't have the fourth one. But I have three of them. I have off campus. But, yeah, The Risk is the one that I just got from Randy Grice. Last one, I guess I'm almost at being able to read them. So you guys know how I am about having to, uh, own the entire series before I start reading them. <laughs> and what I've also started doing <clears throat> is whoever gifts me a book, I'm leaving it in the book. Not as a bookmark, I just, I just want it. <laughs> um, there's a couple. So this is from last year as well. <clears throat> and this book three hundred and ninety six pages that's pretty good that is a very decent sized grade book so that is very very cool thank you again Randy okay we've got three left Mine by Katie Evans. Um, I do have a couple books by her. I think I've read a couple of them, but I haven't read all of them. But I am trying to get this series. I think this is a series anyway. It looks like the other one, so I'm assuming that it is. Um, this book is from Kara Brown. So she is also in my Book Ninja group. So thank you very, very much, Kara Brown. I am so excited. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is from Katie Evans. This book was published in 2013, so it's a little bit older, but that is perfectly fine with me. There's so many books that I just haven't read yet. Uh, so this book has 324 pages. Again, very decent size. Um, and yeah. It's the real series. So I need real, I have mine, and then I need raw and ripped. So I don't want to read uh, the synopsis because I don't want to like spoil myself if that's a thing. I love when books have playlists in them, you guys. I mean, I don't really ever like 
listen to them, but I just love them. Maybe I will start listening to them, because why not? This one has Nickelback in it. Guys, I love Nickelback. That is awesome. That's cool. I have this book, but yeah, I'm not going to read the synopsis, just because I don't want to spoil myself. <laughs> anyway. And one more. So here we have Royally Yours by Emma Chase. This one is also from my Book Ninja group. This is from Autumn Bomley. So it does show you a little smiley face. I love that. I was curious if they would show you that. And I'm so happy that they do. I talk a lot with smiley faces, so, uh, so, this book was published in 2018, there's a, starts off with prologue, oh, it actually, like, 1945, and, this is a really long chapter. Um, okay, so it must be like a flash back and forth thing. That's cool. I really love, uh, Royal Romances, so I'm so excited to have another one. I have read something else by Emma Chase. I just can't figure out what it is right now. Okay. Princess Lenora Celeste Beatrice Arabella Pembroke had an unusual childhood. She was raised to be a queen, the first queen of Waskow. It's a big deal. When she's crowded at just 19, the beautiful young monarch is prepared to rule. She's charming, clever, confident, and cunning. What she isn't is married. It's her advertising council's first priority. It's what parliament is demanding and what her people want. Lenora has no desire to tie herself to a man particularly one who only wants her for her crown. But compromises must be made and royals must do their duty, even queens, especially them. Years ago, Edward Langdon Richard Dorian Rook, Rook walked away from his title and country. Now he's an advert adventurer, climbing mountains, exploring jungles, going wherever he wants, when he wants, until family devotion brings him home. And a sacred promise keeps him there. To Edward, the haunty, guarded little queen is intriguing, infuriating, and utterly captivating. Wanting her just might drive him mad or become his greatest adventure. Within the cold stone walls of the royal palace, mistrust threatens, wills crash, and an undeniable passionate love will change the future of the monarchy forever. Every, di every dynasty has a beginning. Every legend starts with a story. This is theirs. That sounds really, really cool, you guys. So... This, oh, it's got a glimpse into the next book. Okay, so I haven't read anything by her, but I'm recognizing this cover. I haven't read it yet. But it looks like we have a sneak peek into that book. So this book is 280 pages. Not too bad. Thank you again, Kara. Okay, and the last package. This one doesn't have a note. No note. Okay, now I have all the Briary. <laughs> but it doesn't have a note. So I'm going to have to try and figure out who gave this to me. Uh, I also figured out that L. Kennedy is actually Canadian, and I totally did not know that. So that is pretty cool. Uh, so this is 
published last year. I don't know what order these books go in. Um, I'm assuming it's not last because I have a glimpse into the chase. Um, so this book is 395 pages. That is pretty good. I think this book might also be from one of the people in my book ninja group, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to try and figure out who it's from. Um, but in any case, whoever sent this to me, I am so grateful. It just kind of like, who? Yeah, it just says Amazon. That's sad. I like thanking the people that give me presents. Okay, but this is what I got from Amazon. And here we go. <laughs> so thank you very, very much, everybody. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys for my next video. Have a great night, guys.